You don't need to have good style, you just need Pinterest. Scanning outfit 1. This first outfit is so cute. It's definitely within my comfort zone. I'm really trying to start slow. So I don't have a bodycon dress that looks super similar to hers. So what I'm actually gonna do is put on this black knit skirt with like a black thin jumper. This beautiful jacket is from a brand called Finders Keepers. I actually got such a good deal on this jacket. I got it for 50 bucks when I'm pretty sure this kind of brand would sell a jacket for like, 150 to 200. So I love how this looks already, but obviously we need to add the boots, which these were such a good find. I got these boots from Depop. I believe they are either Steve Madden or Tony Bianco, but I really can't remember which. They really do make this outfit. Like this is so cool. This is actually exactly what the girl is wearing. So I could stop here. But because it's me and I really love to accessorize and make things my own, I'm gonna add a few little pieces. So I'm just gonna add this little black mini bag because I really like to take a bag out wherever I go. And then I personally love these sunglasses. Whenever I'm wearing something that's brown, I think the kind of brownie orange in the lens really ties the whole outfit together. And I literally have never worn an outfit where I feel so cool. This is hands down the coolest thing I've ever put on my body. So this is the final comparison. I think I personally nailed this and I'm gonna go a little bit crazy and I'm gonna rate this a 10 out of 10 because I literally want to be buried in this outfit. I think it's so cute. But now it's time for the second outfit. Scanning outfit two. Okay, this second outfit is definitely very far out of my comfort zone. I actually just bought a trench coat and I literally cannot figure out how to style it without it making me look like I'm three feet tall. But this outfit is so cute. For me, this is like the ultimate Pinterest girl outfit. So the base for this outfit is just a pair of jeans that are a little bit slouchy at the bottom and then a white business shirt. Okay, so this is the base outfit. I think her shirt is a little bit shorter than mine. So that might impact the outfit, but this is the one that I have. And then it looks like she's tucked in this side of the shirt as well. This shirt is thrifted. These jeans are the Glassons. I think they're the ultra high rise 90s jean. And then she's wearing a pair of like dad sneakers. These are my feeler disruptors, which I honestly haven't worn since these were super trendy, but let's give them a go. Okay, right now this outfit is just giving dad, but we have the hero piece which is a trench coat. This one I got from Depop, but they're definitely everywhere right now. So you will not have any trouble finding one. And then finally, a white mini bag that's like held by the little handle. <laughs> this is the outfit. I'm still not 100% sure how I feel about this. I think maybe if this side was like more hidden, I don't know, maybe I'd just tuck the whole shirt in. Look, it's not bad. I think I did a pretty good job of the comparison. I think the outfits do look quite similar, but this is not something I think I would wear. Um, I feel, I don't know, I just feel like either a mom or a dad. Like something about this just doesn't really feel my age. I'm gonna rate this a six out of 10 because I wouldn't wear it, but I mean, it's a cool, it's a cool outfit. Okay, let's do the next one. Scanning outfit three. I love this outfit. I think this is very preppy and very, very cute. I love like the high socks, the cute oversized blazer. It's a very simple outfit, but it really is very, very trendy. So this business shirt is thrifted and I'm going to put on Ethan's suit jacket. I don't really have an oversized blazer. I'm still trying to find the perfect one. This was the closest one that we had that looks kind of similar to hers. Um, and she is actually <laughs> wearing hers buttoned up. I feel like I look a little bit like I'm wearing half of my boyfriend's prom 
outfit. I'm very unsure how we could possibly make this look cool like she has. I don't, I don't know if I've just done it wrong or if it's just not my vibe, but anyway, I'm gonna wear these loafers. She's just wearing all black shoes, but I think the gold on these is really, really cute. And this is the most similar thing that I have to what she's wearing. But this is what they look like. I'm still not, not feeling this outfit. So now we need the accessories. She is just wearing some black little thin sunglasses and then of course a black bag. So this is the fit compared to hers. What do we think? I do not think I would wear this. I'm actually gonna rate this like a four out of 10. I think it looks gorgeous on her. I just think maybe either these pieces are not the right pieces for this outfit or this is just not something that really suits me, not for me. But hopefully we'll have better luck on the next outfit. Scanning outfit four. Okay, this next outfit is super cute. It's definitely not my aesthetic, but this is such a moment to combine active wear with like business attire. Like for example, wearing active wear with a blazer or a trench coat, or in this example, it's a business shirt and a nice bag. It's a very niche style. It really suits some people. We will see if it suits me. So my base outfit right now is just a pair of Lululemon leggings, white socks, and a little black tank top. So the first thing I have is obviously we need a blue business shirt. This one is of course thrifted from the men's section. It's my favorite place to get these. My dedication to this video is so real because these leggings, I pulled them out of the dirty laundry basket and they were under two wet towels. I don't know if I should be ashamed of that or really proud of the commitment. Okay, so this is the outfit so far. Also, I did do my hair in plaits, which I'm actually kind of vibing with. This is what she had in the photo. So the next step is shoes. I'm actually dying for a pair of New Balances. I think they're so cute. But in the meantime, of course, a trusty pair of Air Force Ones are just such a staple. And of course, we need a hat. Hers is black with white writing. So I have this one that I thrifted. It says, oh heck, and I love it. I really do. And finally, we need a bag. She has more of like a chocolate brown bag that looks to be a Chanel. This is the closest thing I have. This is a comparison of the outfits. As suspected, this is definitely not my vibe. Um, I, I don't think it's bad. I just don't think it's me and the mixing of business and active wear is a little bit confusing to me. It's such a thing, like all the fashion girlies do it. I don't know, maybe I need to warm up to it. I'm not sure, but I would say this is a solid six out of 10. Like this is such a comfortable outfit. I do feel very comfortable in it. I just don't know how cute I feel in it. Let's see if the next outfit is cuter. I kind of hope we get a cute one. Standing outfit five. Okay, this next outfit is something that I wear like every week, a different variation of this outfit. I love wearing a big leather jacket, the nice pair of comfy jeans, some cool sneakers. This is a staple and I have a feeling that this is gonna look great because how can it not? It's just so simple and easy. So I'm starting off in this high neck singlet thing, which I think is the closest thing in my wardrobe that matches her neckline. And then these vintage Levi's, which kind of fall at the bottom in the same way as hers. They're also very similar colorways, which I like. We obviously need a belt. Now, full <laughs> transparency. I normally wear really, really high-waisted jeans that come up to like here, whereas these jeans fall a little bit lower. So putting my belt on, in these pants, like it really doesn't want to do up. So if I look a little bit silly, then you're going to have to excuse that. Okay, the belt is on. Next is the shoes. I don't know when everyone in the world decided to buy those super expensive like Nike Jordans, Nike Dunks. I just feel like I woke up one day and everyone had them. But anyway, what just happened? These shoes are such a great 
kind of dupe, like obviously they're not the same, but they give off the same cool girl vibes. These ones are from Tyne. They're very comfortable and I really love them. I call them my carrot shoes. See how cool they look? I just love how they look with jeans. The last step is adding my favorite leather jacket or a leather blazer. And this is the look compared to the Pinterest photo. How can you not love this outfit? Like it's just so simple, so classic. For me, this is a nine because it doesn't have any extra oomph that would make it a 10 but also how could you not like wear this every day of your life? It's just so easy, so comfy and very stylish. So I'm very happy. I feel like we got a win with this one. We have two more outfits left. I'm very excited to see how they look. Let's do it. Standing outfit six. This next outfit is very simple, but it's so cool. I don't know what exactly it is that makes this outfit so cool, but I just love all of the elements going on. I'm starting off in this crop top that I've literally been wearing pretty much this whole video. And I don't have any super tight high-waisted bike shorts, so I'm actually just wearing the only black shorts that I own, which is just black linen ones, but I feel like will still have the same effect. In terms of shoes, she has, it looks like platform docks, but I just have regular docks, but I'm sure it's not gonna make it a huge difference. Okay, this is what it currently looks like with the shoes. I actually kind of like this already, so I'm very excited to add the blazer. This beige blazer is very new. I actually just got this from Depop. I actually do have a slight qualm about this blazer though. Um, basically, I didn't realize that the collar like doesn't extend to the back, and so I just feel like it looks really weird but it looks cute from the front especially with this outfit in terms of accessories i can't really tell what color her sunglasses are i know that sounds so stupid but they look like a dark brown i don't know anyway i've decided to go for these kind of like 90s ones because i think this really works i just want to see how it looks with the black sunnies before i commit to the brown ones what do we think i just looked in the mirror and the black ones definitely look better so this is the outfit compared to her outfit i think this is very cute and i would literally never think to do this kind of pairing i would never have put these clothes together if it wasn't for this photo but i actually think this is very casual but also cool i'm gonna give this a solid eight and a half out of ten actually i'm gonna give it a nine i feel like this is a good outfit let's get on into the final outfit Scanning outfit seven. I literally spent all morning trying to find this one specific photo, um, which I promise you by the time this video is up, it will be right here, okay? But right now, I can't find it. Now, this is super not my aesthetic, but I really have always wanted to try and wear a full tracksuit with a big coat. So this is the tracksuit. Um, the unfortunate thing is this tracksuit is like three quarter length. Um, it's very interesting lengthwise but i feel like with the trench coat hopefully it looks a little bit less weird so let's get that okay actually i've decided that the next step is shoes because we need the big wow moment when i put on the trench coat i'm hoping we're all gonna do a little round of applause okay you guys it's time for the moment of truth everybody hold your breath and get ready to be wowed this really is not working for me is <laughs> Do you actually like this? Um, I think if you like went baddie bitch on it, I think you could pull it off. Like slay it, like give me a pose. <laughs> yes, fucking get it. <laughs> Queen. I've joined this thing. Harriet wants my opinion on this. That's cool. Yeah. I like it. Man, you come so far in two years. What fashion? I just feel like before you started the channel, not that you didn't dress well, I didn't. but yeah. like you just didn't, you, I think your confidence mm. was you just dress safe. Just because you've not worn it before doesn't mean you shouldn't wear it now. Like you're not your past, you know? Just because you haven't worn something doesn't mean you, you shouldn't wear it in the future. But if you're trying to dress yourself up and you're looking like, just picture yourself as like a movie star. If you just strutted down the street in this and you saw someone wearing that, wouldn't you think that looked cool as? Well, you look like that. Just own it. Damn, Sweaty. hype ups for me. I know. And, uh... If you need any hype ups, just DM me. I'm here for you guys. So I'm giving this a seven out of 10. Ethan's giving it a nine out of 10. And with that concludes this Pinterest video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I genuinely had so much fun. And if you want me to do another one, I will, because I actually found some outfits that I think I will wear again. And I'll update you on if I wear this one out. Ethan will probably force me. 
I think it's healthy. I yeah. think you should, because you, you feel uncomfortable, you should just do it. Step yeah. outside the box, you know? Okay, guys, I'll see you next week with a new one. Bye!